Oh, um, can I help you? Susie, it's me, Max. Uh, Max Jackson, from school. Oh, hey, Max, what are you doing here? God, you're so grown up now. Perfect. Yeah, well, um, so are you. <laughs> Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that school trip we went on in, in year eight to Didcot? Vaguely. You sat next to me on the coach. You, you held my hand all the way round the railway museum. Yeah, well, they made me hold your hand. Everyone held hands. Not with me, they didn't. But do you remember what we promised each other that day? <laughs> we promised that if neither of us were married by the time we were 30, we'd marry each other. And guess who's got two thumbs and three decades of being alive? This guy! Well, uh, first of all, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. And happy future anniversary. The church is booked, the priest's in the car. I know it's bad luck to see the bride on the day of the wedding, but given the circumstances... Max, you can't seriously expect me to keep some stupid promise we made when we were kids. It wasn't just a promise. It was a pinky swear. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that in year six you promised me a million quid if I gave you one of my Harry bow or something I'm like... I'm a man of my word. Plus, I'll get half of it back in five minutes anyway, <laughs> once we... But, we're... Max, I I'm actually engaged to someone else. Yeah. I thought this might happen, so I invited a marriage lawyer! Hi, hi, hello. So, um, I'm really sorry about all of this, but I've been over all of the facts, and the good news is that Mr Jackson's claim to your hand in marriage is completely invalid. <gasps> he hasn't got a leg to stand on. Thank you. Because you promised me, when we were in primary school, that we'd get married by the time we were 30. This is your signature, is it not? Pete? Hi, Susie, long time no see. <laughs> I'm a lawyer now. God, Susie, I, I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea, but you should marry him. He's got dibs. And Bagsies. I'm not marrying either of you. I'm marrying the man I've actually promised to marry. Now, if you'll both excuse me. Hi, Steve. You probably don't remember me, but when we were at nursery school, we promised oh, that we... Of course I do. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to bear witness to the marriage of Susie and Steve. Two people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.